What's up, what's up, what's up? Um, hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, or as I always say. And yes, I said this last time, and I think I've said it a few previous times, so I'm going to put this down as a, as I always say. If you're here, new to the channel, welcome. This is Life 3030, Justice for Dan, Dan Markell. And now, this is a video called The Most Interesting Fact About Wendy Adelson's Move from South Beach, Florida to Austin, Texas. Now, as I was planning this, I sort of thought, oh, there's a section where I don't want to do a spoiler. Oh, ooh, you know, um, I'm not going to tell you, you know, where she lives and but where is she moving to? And then I remembered I made a title card. I made a literal title card that says South Beach, Florida to Austin, Texas. So there's no spoiler. I'm uh, oh, sorry, there is a spoiler. Um, there's no um, no guessing. But anyway, let's move on to the next one. This is Wendy. And I want to address a rumour about her. Ooh, what's the what's the, the rumour? What could it be? Ooh, did the, the title card give it away? No, it didn't. Okay, thank you. Anyway, I want to address a rumour. What? What? What am I addressing? Sorry. <laughs> I've actually got uh, my uh, spell check on... Uh, UK English as we use in Australia. I just need to switch that over to US English. Okay, now let's go back. I want to address a rumour. Yeah, I did have Wendy confused for a moment. And that's the last thing that I have on my to-do list. Now, for all those people that think that AI is going to take over the world, I asked AI to make me a to-do list with uh, things on there like number one, get justice for Dan, uh, make a coffee, make a sandwich, um, see my team win the grand final. The last thing I had on there was um, confuse Wendy. So that would be the last thing on my list that I want to do. Um, uh, and this is the best that it came up with. So it's laughable AI. Anyway. Wendy Adelson is planning to move interstate. Is she doing the right thing? She's got to be questioning herself. She's looking at it all doe-eyed, thinking, am I doing the right thing? Now, although this is AI generated, again, pictures, um, I have covered the boys' faces because I don't want to give impressions of what the boys could potentially look like, and this is not about them. But they will be sitting in the back of the car because you know that they're going to be having to sit there in the car while they're and more than likely they're going to be there with their, uh, their grandpa Harvey I'm sure he's going to be making the move as well this is South Beach Florida where I believe Wendy and co live at the moment and um, this is the location of it so you can see this is uh, this is the I guess what we would call the suburb in Australia or maybe in America they call the town um, or maybe city area I don't know of uh, of Miami Beach oh, it is. this is the city area of Miami Beach um, where which South Beach is part of you can see where it is on the map um, yeah it's just kind of uh, a bit more coastal than Miami and it's located here um, in this part of the the world um right here there i've added some arrows just in case you can't see the when the screen gets tiny you can't see the little circle so this is the uh the state of florida and this is where south beach is. there is actually a little circle there you're going to have to if you're watching this on a small screen you're really going to have to squint to see it this is the united states the whole united states uh without alaska and without uh, hawaii but let's forget about how alaska and hawaii at the moment um but this is where you'll find south beach miami now i i asked the ai as well to uh, come up with a list of um reasons for you know positive reasons for living in south beach and it gave me this is the list hang on i just need to bring my list up you just talk amongst yourself for a while okay so it starts off with beautiful beaches south beach is famous for its stunning white sand beaches clear waters and art deco architecture um 
The vibrant culture experienced the blend of Latin America, Caribbean or Caribbean. There's going to be a few things I'm going to pronounce maybe differently without this and or throughout this whole video. And the American cultures reflected in food, music and art. Look, it's like they're Hawaiian. I know I, did, I said there's no Hawaiian in there, but look at them with their lays on. Um, next one is nightlife. South Beach is renowned renowned for its lively nightlife scene and top-notch clubs, bars, and lounges. Uh, it, it has a diverse community. Meet people from all over the world, making it an ideal spot for those who love diversity and inclusivity. Outdoor activities, enjoy water sports, beach, volleyball, and simply soaking it up in the sun. Uh, food scene, savour the delicious fusion of international cuisines from seafood to Cuban and Italian cuisine. Now, the, they love events and festivals. I believe that this is a scene from the Food and Wine Festival from maybe earlier this year or from another year. Um, but yeah, they have things like the South Beach Wine and Food Festival, the Ultra Music Festival, and the Art Basel. Or I, yeah, I don't know what that is. Sorry, I should have done some more research. But that's, yeah. Anyway, um, Business and Entrepreneurial Hub. Now, Miami is a growing tech and startup hub, making it an excellent location for on entrepreneurs and professionals. I believe this is a business hub where they have a lot of uh, events and conventions. So, yeah. Moving on, um, we've got the tourist attractions. Uh, you can visit the iconic Art Deco District, Lincoln Road Mall, and the Bass Museum of Art, or Bass Museum of Art. If it's a bass, I'd love, as a former bass player, I'd love to go to the Bass Museum of Art. But... Could be bass. I don't know. And then the last thing we have the uh, year-round warm weather. Enjoy the subtropical climates with mild winters and warm summers. So you know, perfect for getting out there in like a little sleeveless black dress sort of thing. And that's Miami. Um, now, Florida. Uh, Taylor Swift. I'm sure there are lots of fans out there that are Taylor Swift. Maybe the maybe not. I don't know. But she's released a new album, and she has a song about Florida. And I'm just going to use this to tie to the next section because she has these lyrics in there where she says it's kind of like treats Florida as the place where you end up when you commit crimes. You can beat the heat if you beat the charges too. They said I was a cheat. I guess it must be true. All my friends smell like weed or little babies, and this city reeks of driving myself crazy, she says. Then she, she says in the chorus, Florida is one hell of a drug. Florida, can I use you up? Later in the song, she says, I need to forget, so take me to Florida. I've got some regrets. I'll bury them in Florida. Tell me I'm despicable. Say it's unforgivable. What a crash, what a rush. Fuck me up, Florida. And then, little did you know, your home's really only the town you'll get arrested. So you pack your life away just to wait out the shitstorm back in Texas. Yes, that's a shitstorm back in Texas. Speaking of Texas, this is Texas. It's it's a pretty massive place, so I might just get rid of that arrow. You don't need to see. Um, you don't need to sort of zoom in on that one. But here we go. We'll zoom in on it anyway. This is the whole lot of uh, Texas. And look over here. Uh, I'll I'll put the arrow back and I'll just stick that over there with uh, good old South Beach, Miami. Now this is Austin. This is the uh, so I'm circling within here. Austin, the capital of Texas. Now, this shows uh, the greater, uh, uh, well, the area that it's in the county, I believe. Um, I can't remember the county name. I did actually write it down, but I couldn't be bothered going back to my uh, notes. Um, and you might be going, what's that uh, star mark there you've got on your Google map? Just right here. Well, that's actually Waco, Texas. 
few years ago, I was doing some research on something, not for like a true crime podcast or anything. I've, I've had an interest in that. I watched a documentary and for some reason I looked it up and I saved it because I wanted to see how far away it was from certain places. And yeah, so it's, it's just remained in my Google Maps. Now this here is Austin City. Um, you can see, all circled within there. Beautiful Austin City on some river, like all good cities should be. Now, greetings from Austin, the capital of Texas. Now, when you think of Miami, you think of the beaches, of course, as I said uh, earlier on. But when you think of Austin, Texas, it's more of a, this is the Wild West. This is the Cowboys and the rodeos or rodeos see again as i said there's words that i'm going to say one way or another way do you say rodeo do you say rodeo i don't know um i hear it both ways so yeah but austin not only is it the capital of texas but they say that they are the music capital of the world they've got in their city limit signs, they mention it. They've got it on murals around the, the place. And it even appears on this ice hockey tournament, the Austin Showdown. They say the live music capital of the world. Just I've circled it here just in case you can't see it. I'll, I'll add an arrow just in case you can't see it. Here's another arrow. Here it is, live music capital of the world. They really, really, really want you to know that. So what would make a beach babe, and I use... <coughs> Sorry, um, I had actually done a plan to do a cough, and I thought, I better not, because I might, you know, yeah, no one wants to hear me coughing. But, yeah, just saying it, it did make me kind of want to throw up in my mouth. But what would make a beach babe, I use that, that term so loosely, become a cowgirl? You know, why is she moving from the beach to the, uh, to the country? George Kavlin's going to ask a question. George Kavlin's going to say, why y'alls want to move to Austin, Texas, y'all? You know how she does it. I love, I love it. I, I'm not having a go of her. I love her southern accent. Um, I mean, could she be uh, trying to flee somehow? You know, maybe from Texas, it's an easy way to head down to Mexico. Now, a lot of people have been talking about it on Reddit and in Facebook groups about it. There is actually extradition between the United States and Mexico. Um, you can see here in this uh, US Embassy and Consulates in Mexico. Um, you can pause that if you want to have a read of it, or you can just look it up yourself. And um, you can find out that, no, um, you know, since 2005, Mexico has deported between 150 and 200 fugitives to face justice in the U.S. So they definitely like to send people back. And I don't know when this was part of oh, March 2021. So more than likely they've had um, more people. And, you know, when you look at the, the crimes that they've got, murder is one of the crimes. Um, so, yeah, um, if she did make her way down there, it's not like she's just going to you know, hide out forever. So I asked Donna, Donna, what do you think? And she said, I would like to take a guess at why my daughter is moving to Texas. And she thinks it's because she's just, it's just because she's a mischief maker, of course. Now, I did say that this was going to be the most interesting fact about Wendy Adelson's move from South Beach, Florida to Austin, Texas. And this is about the move. So here's the... Uh, the ways that you could drive from South Beach to Austin. You go through Orlando is a place. She has mentioned Orlando in, in one of her places. Oh, look, there's a place in Florida called Melbourne. They must probably say Melbourne. Melbourne. So, um, yeah. It's a place called Tampa. I wonder if you could tamper with evidence there. Sorry, that's bad. Moving on. Gainesville. I believe Gainesville was a place where Donna and Harvey stopped. I, do I kind of remember that? And between, I think between Orlando and Gainesville, there's a place called Wyahossee or something like that. I don't know why I remember that one. Anyway, then we get up to Lake City. That's not Salt Lake City. 
for those people who are going, hang on a second, isn't that supposed to be Salt Lake City? No, that's in Utah. That's way across the other side of the country. This is Lake City, but at Lake City, you chuck a left. We head to Tallahassee. I'm sure you all are familiar with the town of Tallahassee. A place that I like to call just a small stop on the way back to what we had previously known as civilization. What? Sorry. <laughs> I think I've confused Wendy again. I need to just switch back to the uh, US English. Just a small stop on the way back to what we had previously known as civilization with a Z. Or a Z. Z, Z. Is it Z? I can never remember which one we say. Um, growing up watching Sesame Street, I, I sung my ABCs and finished up with Z, I believe. I think I'm supposed to say Z in this country. Anyway, I put the Z in civilization. Um, Wendy could put the uh, something in civilization, the the fun back in civilization, the I don't know. Moving on anyway. Now, going through Tallahassee, it's 1,350 miles. Yep, I'm using miles. I'm not going to use kilometers. When I uh, do Google these things in Google Maps, it does say when I'm traveling through the states uh, to use miles, and that makes sense because all the signs are in miles. But can we make it quicker? Let's see if we can make this journey quicker. Now, I just want to focus in at this point when we get to Tallahassee. You can see here on the map is actually, that's Wendy's old house marked on the map there. But see, Wendy would be driving along that uh, motorway and she would know that there is actually a shortcut to be taken. Right here, shortcut. Now, you, you look at this and say, but isn't that a, a straight bit of road you've got there, you know, right here, here, here. Yeah, yeah, it is. But anyone who's anyone knows that driving along Trescott, starting here, driving along here, and exiting here is a shortcut. Everyone in Tallahassee talks about it. And you might say, but that looks like it's the long way, not the shortcut. No, you're wrong about it being the long way. It is the shortcut. What? Yeah, that's a throwback from uh, from my last video. No, we're not going to be doing that this time, Wendy, you silly duffer. What? Jeff, that's right. Jeff's going to go, what? That's not a shortcut. That's never been a shortcut. Because what is 1,350 miles? Would in fact turn into... 1,353 miles. It's like three miles out of the way. But it is a literal shortcut via Trescott. It's one of those conundrums in life. Mind absolutely blown. How is this shortcut three miles longer? I don't know. Like the maths, is the maths adding up? The maths. I think, sorry, again, in America you say the math. I wrote a joke once actually about this. So you know what Americans call it math rather than maths because you only do it once. I don't know. It's a dumb joke, but sorry. Anyway, um, yeah, it is. It is really confusing the maths that we that we get. I found these um, memes, confusing maths memes, all over the uh, internet. But Wendy says in her interview, in her police interview, or her interrogation, as she later calls it. She says, I took a shortcut down Trescott. So we have to trust that Trescott is always going to be a shortcut. Look, would she lie? Is she confused about maths? Maybe she is. Maybe she is going to be the new meme. Maybe, here you go, take a screenshot of that. Share it amongst your friends. This is the new, whenever you know people do those crazy maths sort of things on social media, this will be the thing that you can share with them. So what about the rest of the journey? Well, we've got Houston to go through. And you know if she's going as far as Houston, what we're going to have to say. Houston, we have a problem. So, look, that's all I really wanted to say. Yes, this is another, another video about Wendy and her shortcut. And you do the math. The maths. The math. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to sign off because we're reaching the 20-minute mark here. And I know 
a lot of you like to skip through and just forward it by 30 seconds and everything. And you go, well, I don't want to hear about your journey to to Coffs Harbour or, or Wendy's journey to, I mean, that's the whole point of this video, her journey to from South Beach to, to Houston. So, um, Houston, sorry, no, Houston, Austin, sorry. Anyway, until we talk again, um, we're getting close. It's, it's less than four months until Donna's uh, trial now. So, who knows, you know, who, who, who knows, who knows what's going to happen next. Um, if these rumors are true, you know, if, um, you know, and I haven't even mentioned anything about Charlie's move, but that's for somebody else to discuss. Anyway, until we talk again, this is Life 3030. Uh, yeah, over and out. Take care.